Judah. Work. Work. At this Work. time, we were like, Work. Work. all the gay sayers Work. and they sayers of Israel Work. united in Christ. Work. Work. Take this moment, Work. please, to Work. shut Work. up. <laughs> Work. All right, Work. we're going in. Fix your face. face. We ain't going nowhere. nowhere. Strips popping ain't no stopping. When I'm on post, so don't go there. go there. Gotta get it if you wanna know that. Know that. Fringed up and I'ma show that. show that. Mad at me cause it's Bible verse? Boy, we ain't wrote that. We're gonna tell you what God says to do. We're gonna give it to you. And yes, we're gonna make you accountable for that. And we don't care how you feel about it. As the Bible says, whether they hear or not, they gonna know what you're talking about. You like living and listening to the. And this is like woman, the most high has set his face against them. Boy. That's why we have the Bible of society in the nation of people. For whoever breaks the law, you gon' get this work. For whoever breaks the law, you gon' get this work. Woo! We be them boys in that purple uh, Geeking in them scriptures, man You can call me Urkel Christ is coming with them chairs Like a circle With flames of fire on those who don't follow Instruction uh, Repent or die Now sons and daughters, what people do that happen to? They sons and daughters should be given to another people You blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans That's what they happen to It's slavery Our truth was given to another people And that happens today as well Come on and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. We don't have any might in our hand. We don't have no army. We don't have no money. We don't have anything to get our children back from this system. They can teach our kids whatever they want. And you can't do nothing about it. I don't care how mad you get. You can't do anything about it. Because the Most High sent them against us. Because why? Verse 43. The stranger which is the stranger that is within thy deep shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. That's what happened to us. We were sitting up on high, but we came down low because we didn't listen to the most high laws and statutes. You won't hear that. We're gonna be like the other nations, like you do today. You have the you have the most wonderful God, and you won't serve him. You won't want to serve him. He looks like you. Right. But you won't look like the other nations. Bring it out. That's a sad thing. That's Bring a sad out. thing. You will be ashamed of yourself. The Bible say how the most high look. The Bible say how Jesus the Christ look. But who got a question? All right, go ahead. What's up, brother? What's up, brother? What's your question? I'm going to say, can I say something? What's your question first? Okay, that's the only one God. All right, say that. Wait, wait, let the people know. Let the people know that. Come on. That's the only one God. And who's he the God of? All mankind. No, all he's not the all man. Let's get that. He's not the God of everybody, sir. I'm going to prove it. Let's, let's prove it. Let's prove it. Bring it out. Come on. Come on. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He said, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of Israel. Those people on the side. Those 12 people. Come on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. He has redeemed and visited his people. Hold on, it's not finished. Hold on, he said he has visited and redeemed his people. All right, come on. And has raised up in the whole. Is Christ, come on, in the house of his servant David. His servant David, come on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. This has been since the world began. He always been a God of Israel since the world began. Come on. That we should be saved from our enemy. How is that? We should be saved from our enemies. If he's the whole, if he's the God of all the world, what the enemies he talking about? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? He's a God of Israel. Now watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 67. Bring it out. Who's that right back there, sir? 
I want you to hear this. Deuteronomy chapter 67. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. What? So, for thou art an holy people. He said, Thou art a holy people. This good is carefully. He's talking to the children of Israel. He said, For thou art a holy people. Come on. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. He had chosen you to be a special people unto himself. It's not finished. Come on. Above all a chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that's on the face of the earth. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 54 And after these Adam also Whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures Now this is Adam, right? Come on Of him come we all We all come from Adam All of this right. come from Adam, right sir? Come on And the people also whom thou hast chosen And the people God has chosen You understand that? All, and the people God has chosen Come on All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. God has said they are nothing. These other nations are nothing compared to you. Why you think they hate us like that? Why you think they hate us like that? If somebody will pick up and read this Bible, you'll, you'll realize you are the children of Israel. You realize you just pick it up and read it. But you won't. Just pick it up and read it. That's why they, they read it. They know who you are. That's why they hate you. Bring it That's out. why they kill you in the street. Bring it out. Bring it out. You understand that? Read it again. Second Ezra chapter six, verse fifty-six. As for the other people, which from other nations, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. God said they are nothing. Come on. And, but be like unto spittle. They like spit. The Most High said, like when you spit, you remember. Come on. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop which falleth from a vessel. That's like if you carry a bucket full of water and a drop fall out. That don't mean nothing to you. You keep on pushing. Come on. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us. You see that? They become to be lords over us. They tell us what to do. They make laws. Us as the black as Israelites, the black Hispanic, the Native American man, we don't make any laws. We make no laws at all. Do you understand that? We are subject to them. Read it again. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us. They are lords over us. They don't like, they, don't, they hate God. The true God of this Bible, they hate him. The other nations hate this guy. Why you think they got so a uh, 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 a thing called Christianity? That saying Christ is like that piece right there, a so-called white man. That's hatred. The Bible say how Christ look. Matter of fact, let's get that now. Bring it out. The Bible say how Christ look. Bring it out. Jesus the Christ do not look like a pale faced white man. Right. right. And we're about to prove it. Come on. Revelation chapter one, verse fourteen. His head. Come on. And his voice as the voice as the sound of 
many waters. And another thing, Christ spoke like a man. He didn't speak like no, no child or a woman. He spoke like a man. He spoke loud. That's he spoke right. like he was commanded to speak. Like we speak today. Yeah. You been there in 58 and 1. Bring it on. He was commanded to come out here and speak this way. Come on. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. You see that? We ain't gonna spare none of you. We don't care about your feelings. We gonna tell you, thus said the Lord. That's right. That's just the way we gonna come with it. Ain't no other way. That's how the that's how the old prophets done it, and that's how we gonna do it, and we gonna die doing it. That's right. That's how they done it. And that's how we gonna follow their lead. It's no other way. It's no other way to the kingdom. Homosexuality. 
Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Because it's not okay. okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Right. That thing. That's okay. America right this now. This is what I'm saying here. Is that whenever you step on the toes of the Almighty, you got some toes to be stepped on. But you gotta understand that we out here, listen brother, we out here to teach our people the, the, the commandments. We out here to redeem our people. Bring them, we try to gather this nation up, back up like you, you're like supposed to be. We can talk all day. You're right, but we're not. We gonna, this what, listen brother, but you gotta, you talking about the commandments, but you gotta be keeping them yourself. But this you can follow your, 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 your body, brother. The thing is, you still that. try to organize First Corinthians chapter 3, the verse 16. Brother, 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 listen. What you hear up here, brother, you never seen this before. Look, you never seen young men of God come up here and teach our people in the streets. We out here to redeem our people. Get them out of sin. That's what we out here for, brother. There should be no combat of anything. We out here to tell our brothers that they need to repent and quit sin. Quit hurting themselves. That's why we get up from making me today. Come on. No, ye not. That ye are the temple of God. Brother, did you know that you are the temple of God? Do you know that? Do you know that you are the temple of God? I met God. You've met God. Oh wow. You've met him? He spoke to me. Oh really? What did he say? He said it wasn't my time. Oh, okay. Come on. And that the Spirit of God uh -huh. dwelleth in you. The Spirit of God is supposed to dwell in us because we are the temple of God. The temple of God. If any man defile the temple of God, smoking, you're defiling your body, brother. Being drunk, you're defiling your body, brother. Eating pork, you're defiling your body, brother. Come on. Him shall God destroy. The most I'm gonna destroy you, brother. You gotta, you gotta stop smoking that. That's fine. You gotta stop smoking that now. Are you know what I mean? That's breaking God's commandments. That's the very reason why we get shot down the streets today. That's why we went into slavery. Nobody was born perfect. You, you, you sure? Come on. Give me a. Uh, so was Christ the only person that was perfect? Are you? He was. Okay. Give me Joe. We're going to figure that out. That's not true, brother. That's not true. Let's find out. If there was more people, Christ said, be ye perfect. Be ye perfect. Come on. Job chapter 1 verse 1. This was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. And that man was perfect. Was what? Was perfect. Was what? Was perfect. Was his name Christ? Go back to the front. The most high God. That's right. That's who was under. That's right. Yeah. Psalm chapter 19, verse 7. Listen good, brother. This is listen. We are here to teach our people. They ain't about a sin. The laws is what's gonna heal you, brother. That's what's gonna heal you, brother. Come on. The law of the Lord is perfect. It's what? It's perfect. There you go.
against the evildoer. Brother, are you willing to rise up against the evildoers, brother? Are you willing to rise up? It's already a process. How? We all might. You can't rise up with a cigarette in your hand, brother. You can't rise up breaking God's commandments. You can't do it. It's impossible. Come on. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will stand up against the workers of iniquity? That's what we got here doing. We standing up for the workers of iniquity. We try to keep our people out of sin. Because sin is what's keeping us oppressed. That's what's keeping us shot there in the streets. Right there. Come on. Unless the Lord has been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Come on, okay, give me Psalm, give me Sirach chapter 19, verse 19. What are we teaching, brother, is wisdom. We are teaching God's commandments. It's going to power wisdom, brother. It's wisdom we're bringing out. We ain't just some niggas off the street. We ain't some, uh, some Negro that we went to seminary school, and now we think we can preach the word of God. So right, chapter 19, verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. This is what's going to save you, brother. This is what's going to give you life. This is what's going to get you into the kingdom. The laws of God. Come on. And they that do the things that please him. Now, if you do the things that please the most high God, come on. Him shall receive. Him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Brother, do you want to make it to the kingdom? I'm going to go there. Oh, you're a brother. But you got it. You have to want to listen, 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 brother. We ain't out here to bash you. We out here to We love you, brother. We love you. More than you think. Find out the essential element of truth. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Which is what? That's it. Which is what? He rose on the third day. Come on. Verse 20. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. The fear of what? Lord is all wisdom. That's what I'm about. The wisdom, come on. The fear of the Lord is wisdom, come on. And, and, all, and, and all wisdom is the performance of the law. And wisdom is the performance of the law. When you rise of God's commandments, you're going to do what the laws tell you to do. What did Malcolm X do for us? A change. What happened? A change. What changed? We still in the slums and the ghettos. Because we still in the in school and free health care. We still get shot down the streets. Same thing that happened in the 60s and the 70s, brother. Ain't nothing changed. We still get shot down the streets. We get hunted in our own neighborhoods. What are you talking about, brother? You think it's going to continue over here? If we don't keep God, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse if we don't keep God's commandments. You understand that, brother? It's going to get worse. There's prophets in every generation. You standing in front of the prophets of the Most High God right now. That's who you standing in front of. We ought to liberate our people. Give me uh, Isaiah 61 and 1. We ought to liberate our people, brother. We ain't going to play games with nobody. I don't care the age or what do you, what do you believe in. We don't care. We want to the word of God. We want to keep God's commandments. We want to keep God's commandments. We want to keep God's commandments. Or they're going to die in America. Come on. Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. Listen brother, listen, listen. Come on. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. The spirit of the most high God is upon me, brother, that you see right before you. I know it might be, it might be, it might trip you right you see young brothers. You used to see it. Mar uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the Black Panther Party. You ain't never seen no young brothers out here teaching God's word. But guess what? It's a new day. Okay. The prophets are back. That's the right. prophets are back, brother. Come on. Because the Lord has anointed me uh -huh. to preach good tidings unto the meek. The Most High anointed us to preach good tidings to the meek. You the meek, brother. You the greatest thing that ever walked this earth. Right. Did you know that? You the greatest thing to ever step foot on this earth. Right. And we feel like we feel like everybody should have their glory. The Most High said, "Don't give no glory away." God created.
Come on. He had sent me to bind up the broken heart. We must have bind up the broken heart. But we get our, our kids shot dead in the street. We're in heartache right now. We're in heartache. Come on. He had sent me to bind up the broken heart. Come on. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.